Okay, so this vlog is gonna be all things um, fun facts that I've learned about China so far, but first, food. Okay, this is heavenly. This is fried eggplant um, with a caramel sauce and it's crunchy and wonderful. This one in here is your classic orange chicken, but um, it's actual real chicken, so it's great. And these are like garlic potatoes with green onions and they also have peppers on them and they're a wonderful. Um, a fun fact that I learned about restaurants is that if you have leftovers and you want them to be boxed, they charge you for each box. Hence the bags, because ain't nobody trying to waste that kind of money. I just got out the shower, so I look like an egg and mole rat, but it's fine. Fun fact about their drains in their sinks. Um, in ours, we usually have like a thing right above here where we pull up and then the drain opens. Theirs, you just like twist it like that and then it goes down the tube. Also, get used to all the beds in China being rock solid. <laughs> it's been a fun time. Um, back to food real quick because food. The way that they eat their meals is very different from the way that we do it in America. In America, everyone who goes out to eat a meal together typically buys their own separate meal. Um, here in China, everyone orders all together and then all the plates are brought out and set in the middle of the table and everyone eats from all the plates. So that's different. That's cool. I actually really like it that way because then you can literally try everything. So it's super yummy. Also, they don't have many refrigerators at these hotels. They don't even have one downstairs in the office. So I got this food last night. And like the ghetto person I am, I put it in the window overnight so it would stay cold and I could eat it the next day. Also, smoking inside is permitted. So you're more than likely to see people smoking in restaurants, hotels, shopping malls, literally anywhere and everywhere. So if that bothers you, you're out of luck. AKA me being out of luck, it's fine. Also, they provide you with these handy dandy water bottles over there. They're not free, don't fall for it. Talking bed sheets for a second. Um, in America, hotels will change your bed sheets every night that you stay. Here, they do not change your bed sheets unless you ask for them to change your bed sheets. Also, I have 20 minutes till my training, so that's why I'm eating. I keep eating, but I feel like I keep just getting hungrier. All right, they had a tiny little blow dryer, so I look less like a naked mole rat and more like a Pomeranian. Another fun fact about these here light switches is that they are opposite. So up turns them off, down turns them on. That gets confusing. I'm trying to make sure you can see, but down there, all those people right there, that is um, some street food. And so people will line up um, down there in the mornings to get their breakfast. In their restaurants, they don't serve um, cold water. Like in America, the first thing that um, your waitress or your hostess does is bring you cold water. And um, here, they don't do that. It's either warm water or tea. And if you want cold water, you have to ask them for it and you get the cold water in bottle form because they don't just have it. Also, hot water is the cure for everything for them. If you have a stomach ache, drink hot water. If you have a headache, drink hot water. If you have emotional problems, drink hot water. That's been interesting. I cannot count how many times I've been told to drink hot water in the week that I've been here. And they have no Western medicine here. So if you um, ever come to China, bring Tylenol because you won't find it here. <laughs> Another thing is their buildings. They are not big on air conditioning. Um, so in buildings like restaurants, like hotels and malls, they don't really run their air conditioning inside. And also the, their buildings are multiple stories high and in each story is a different thing. So um, the first floor could be a hotel, the second floor could be a store, the third floor could be a bunch of restaurants. It's different that way. Morning time is a super busy time for them. So if you go out in the morning, expect to see lots of people. Let's talk about their driving. 
they are not big on using seat belts and they don't use their blinkers either. <laughs> At very high speeds, they weave in and out of lanes without using their blinker. And um, if you're a pedestrian, don't walk like you do in the United States because more than likely you'll get ran over. Also, really cool fun facts: if you see these like yellow bricks um, that are slightly different from the rest, Janae told me that those are for blind people to be able to find their way on the sidewalk. So that's really cool. We don't have that in the United States, and I thought that was awesome. Um, there's a really cool park right back here. And all those like white shirts that you see are people. Um, I think they're doing some kind of like karate or something. They do a lot of exercise things here in the morning. Also another big thing is that they stare. So if that is a problem for you, it will be a continuing problem for you. <laughs> I've just learned to either stare right back or ignore them completely and it's fun. This is a better view of the park and those are all the people doing their class. And this is a little vehicle that you will see um, quite a lot actually in China. So it's cute, it's fun. Totally want to drive one. <laughs> all right, those are the fun facts so far. I'm headed to training for like three or four hours, so wish me luck. Super long lines for the elevators. I made it up to the school and I'm about to do some class shadowing, so yay.